Hey there, Jason here from Meridio, and today we're going to take a look at the Meridio 6G pattern generator, and I'm going to show you how to do a firmware update on it. So first, before you get started, make sure of a couple things. Uh, plug the generator into your laptop via USB, and go ahead and plug it in for power as well, because we don't want it to uh, power down, or we don't want the battery to die in, in the middle of the firmware update. Once you've got it plugged in, go ahead and power the Meridio generator up, and find out which revision number you have on the generator currently. So once the generator is powered up, take a look in the upper right hand corner. And as you can see in this example, it's revision 1.0. That becomes very important when we go to download the firmware for this machine. So to download the firmware, go to meridio.com. And you want to find the download section. So we're going to click downloads right here. And I want to scroll down until I see 6G firmware. And there it is. Now before, when I mentioned figuring out the firmware that the generator currently has on it, that becomes very important right here. There are two different hardware versions of the 6G generator. So your firmware is going to start with either 1 or a 2. Now if you're at firmware 1.71 or lower, you will have to do two firmware updates. If you're 1.71 or lower, first you're going to have to jump to 1.79, which is right here, step one. Once you got 1.79 on the machine, you can go ahead and go to 1.87. Now, if you already have 1.79, it's okay to go straight to 1.87. But if you are 1.71 or lower, get it to 1.79, then get it to 1.87, and you'll be all up to date. Now, if you do have a version 2, you can jump straight into firmware 2.60, which is what I'm going to do today. My Meridio generator is at 2.50, and I want to get it to 2.60. So what I'm going to do first is click on the link here for the download. While that's downloading, I do want to point out something very important. If you try to put one dot anything firmware onto a 2.0 machine, you could brick the machine. Same thing vice versa. If you have a 2.0 machine and you try to load one dot firmware onto it, again, you will brick it and it will have to come in for service. So be very, very careful to make sure that you're downloading the right firmware version for your specific generator. So it looks like the 6G uh, 2.60 firmware is downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Now, you don't have to do this necessarily. I find this a little bit easier. It helps me stay a little bit more organized. So if I take the 6G firmware 2.60, if I take that folder, I'm going to put it over on my desktop. Now it's really easy to find when I need those files. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open it up. We're going to open up the 6G firmware 2.60 folder. Now the firmware is in two steps. Step number one, I need this ISP v1.40 software, so I'm going to go and open that up. And there's our firmware updater. So the first step here is to click Search Signal Generator. Now again, my generator is plugged in via USB. So I click Search Signal Generator, I get a red light, and I have COM28. So I did get a COM port, I do have a red light, I know my 6G is connected. The first part of the firmware update is the main FPGA update. So go ahead and click on that. Now I got lucky here because the file popped up right away. But if you do have to find it, go back to your desktop. This is why I put it on the desktop. Go to your desktop, open up 2.60, open up that folder, open up firmware files, and this is the part one FPGA update. So open that, double click on the bin file, and you'll notice down here in the progress bar there is some stuff going on down here. There is some action. Um, this does take about 10 or 15 minutes, but we're going to wait till this gets to 100%. Okay, now that it's at 100%, wait about 10 seconds. Go ahead and power cycle the Meridio. So first power it off, and then go ahead and power it back on. Now I want to close this firmware updater software and reopen it. First I'm going to click search signal generator. I've got a red light and a COM port. That's a good sign. 
So last time I clicked main FPGA update for the first part of the firmware update. This time we're going to click the main MCU firmware update. That window just warns you, by the way, you're about to upload the MCU firmware. Okay. Now I can minimize this software and the MCU software opened up automatically. Sometimes it will not open up automatically and that's okay. If that happens, just go back into your firmware 2.60 folder, double click fly MCU, and then open it up manually. But sometimes it will open up automatically for you. So now that it's open, a couple things I want to check. I want to make sure that I'm still COM28, which it looks like I am. I want to make sure I'm on the second tab here, STM ISP. And when I click this little box with the three dots in it, I want to make sure I have the right file ready to go. So if I go to my desktop, I go to the 6G firmware 2.60 folder, firmware files, part two MCU update, and there's the hex file right there. Go and double click that. And I'm gonna click start ISP. Now there's another progress bar down here that has to get to 100%, but this one won't take nearly as long. Okay, now that we're at 100%, the Meridio generator should boot up automatically. Give that a few seconds to boot up. And go ahead and take a look in that upper right corner again and make sure that the, uh, the new revision number reflects the one that you just finished with the firmware update. My machine used to be 2.50. And as it boots up here, I look in the upper right hand corner and now I'm 2.60. So that's it guys. That's how you update the firmware on a Meridio 6G generator. Uh, if you have any questions or problems trying to update yours, feel free to give us a call at tech support. We'll be happy to uh, help you through it. We could even look at your screen and, and walk you through some things as well. So thanks again and have a great day.